Yeah, it's like you're saying, it's messing, messing with my thing. Um, I'm just trying to lose all, lose all I can finish a lesson. Um, it says, yeah, but she never came back. It says, Jordan, a looper born in Charleston, South Carolina, ended up in Texas with no memory of a mother or father who was sold separately before he returned to his grandmother told him the worst thing about slavery was selling the slaves on the auction block like they were cattle, right? Um, the women as well as the men had to work in fields chopping and picking cottons. Right? The only pay was a whipping, right? So, hey, you want to be talking about, oh, we want to be able to work. Yeah, well, Jake women were working. Right? They were working for free and they were getting whipped. Right? They were getting brutalized, man. Right? So they would pray saying, O oh Lord, lift the yoke of bondage of us that we may serve God on our own vine and fig tree. And O oh Lord, control O oh Master's temper so he won't, he will not be so mean to us. Okay, and then now we've got to a point where, you know, Jake is just fully in love with, 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 with this devil. Right, he says, word of emancipation arrived with tragic results for a slave named Clora who was told of it by a white boy. Clara's master saw her talking to the boy and asked if he said anything about emancipation. She denied it. Then her master tied her across a barrel and whipped her until she died, said Looper, the South Carolina slave who ended up in Texas. The master's girls begged for Clara, but it did no good. He then whipped the boy until he died. The white boy's mother cried and begged for her son's life, but it did no good. That was a very miserable crime. And this is the same man that's saying, oh, trust me, I care about your children. Right? I care about you. Right? This is recent history. Okay? This is recent. I say this is great, great, great granddad. Right? So slaves who had a, a, a kind master celebrated them emancipation. Right? You know, it goes on to, you know, but you, because hey, hey, you, you, you know, you may have had they may have had ones which weren't so um you know which weren't so uh, callous, but hey, guess what? It doesn't matter. You will all be uh, punished uh, uh, together, right? As a nation, just like how Israel was was punished together, right? You know, and those those stories, you know, and like I said, those were very PG, right? Those were very PG articles, very PG stories. But guess what? We still, uh, uh, you know, we'll still. Uh, 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 Lord will still recompense E for that, right? You know, Lord will still judge E for doing that. Right? It's Mark 7 and 9, I'll bear the indignation of Yahweh because I've sinned against him, right? Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness, right? So we understand, you know, those of us that know, we understand why, you know, we went through these things, but that doesn't excuse E. Right, that doesn't excuse E for all that he has done. Okay. Uh. Ah, come on. Um. Let's we'll see if I can find this. I know this has furthered the affliction or something like that. Like on. Like and um, that's like if you bear with me. Forward, that's the word. This is Zechariah one fifteen. It says, and I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Okay, so this is what these devils did. They had they did the Lord said, Okay, do this. Lord put us in these devils' hands, right? These heathens' hands, and guess what? They they went, but then they went some, right? And the Lord is, isn't going to forgive them for, for what they have done because at the end of the day, we are the apple of the Lord's eye, right? And let's actually get that. This is Zechariah 2 and 8. This is what thus saith Yahweh of hosts. After the glory hath he sent me unto you, uh, the nations which spoiled you. Right? And we have been a spoil. Right? We have been a spoil. And this man has, uh, you know, uh, wiggled. He's seemingly wiggled his way out of judgment. Right? 
people, that is the beauty, right? Because for us and the no, we know that he isn't going to go unpunished, right? We know what the Lord's going to do to this man, okay? So he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. Right? So when you when you messed with Jake, you you messed up real bad, right? So this is um this has got some precepts here on revenge. Right? I'm going to read some of them. And Lord's all, you know, I just said they can carry on. I don't, I don't know. It's not. It's not. It's not done that before. Where well, it just starts recording. Right. This is uh, Genesis nine and six. It says who so shed that man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Right. And this man, he has so much blood. He has so much blood of the children of Israel in his hands. Right. And not only that, he has so much blood of our slaves on his hands. Right. Because when you when you're out there dropping bombs in Iraq. Out there dropping bombs in you know in Syria and wherever, right? Hey, those those are our heathen Esau, right? Those are our heathen, right? You're touching our heathen, you're touching our property, right? So you're gonna have to pay for that. Yeah, they're paying for their crimes because they they they've been they've been going off, right? But just like how he will um you know who lock you up for uh you know doing something to one of his slaves. Guess what? You're going to be punished for doing stuff to our slaves, man. Right? This is, um, this is, yeah, so that, that's, that's this man's track record, right? Um, this is, actually uh, read, uh, was it Jew Revelation 6 and 4 about how this man was, get, you know, was given the power to take peace from the earth, right? That's this man's track record, man. And then, but he's going to come up to you and be like, oh, I really care about you. I don't want you to die. That's a lie. Right, you read Ezekiel 35 and 5, it speaks about how this man has had a perpetual hatred against the children of Israel. Right, Exodus 21, 16, it says, And he that stealeth a man and selleth them, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And isn't that what this man has done? Right? Um, Numbers 35, 33, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. But by the blood of him that shed it, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against a stone. Right, and this is what once again this this is this is this is your track record, Esau. So you did this. Right, you hear the accounts of um, um, uh, 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 you know these devils. Right, they would have a bet. They will see a pregnant woman have a bet. Like, oh, is that a you know, is it a man, is it a man child or is it a woman child, right? And instead of waiting until they, the, the the woman comes to term, guess what this devil would do, right? You know, according to reports, right? Which is which is feasible, but believable because this is this is this man's nature, right? He would just cut up the woman with the child, see what, you know, what whether it was a man child or a woman child, and then you know, oh, I won the bet, oh, I lost the bet, and then just leave both to die. But now he's going to act and pretend like he's a champion of women and children. He's nothing but the devil. Okay. And in fact, no, he would have done that because actually it's actually in the prophecy. Right. Um, this is. Ooh. Hosea 13, 16. I'll show it. Now Hosea 13 and 16. Samaria shall become desolate for she hath rebelled against her power. They shall fall by the sword, their infants shall be dashed in pieces, and their women with child shall be ripped up. Right, so once again, these things happened to us because we went off. Right? And yeah, okay, cool, we went off. But guess what? The Lord isn't going to forgive these devils for that. Right, this is what they were doing. They were ripping up Israelite women's children. And this is talking about the northern kingdom. Right, but they were ripping women with child up. But he's a champion of uh, a women and children. But peaceful protest, forgive and forget. That's the past. Right? You see, you see how slick this devil is. This is Psalms 149 7 to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Right? I'm sure that goes that goes more into, into it further on. 
Isaiah 14 and 2, when you read more of that, Isaiah 14 and 2 says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of, of your house as servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. The Lord is going to give us power to rule over our oppressors of all of the wickedness that they have done to us. And when all these heathen nations, you read that in Psalms 83rd chapter, all these heathen nations had their, had their hand in taking us down. Okay, Isaiah fourteen twenty one, Isaiah thirty three and one, Jeremiah thirteen sixteen, which is more or less a, a direct precept to what I read there in Isaiah fourteen and two. Therefore, all they that devour thee uh, shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Right, um, Ezekiel thirty five fifteen. Um, and thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate. So will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all I do me Eden, right? It says, even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh, which I didn't realize I didn't have this as a precept here, right? This is um, Amos 1 and 11. Why says thou saith the Lord, Yahweh says, For three transgressions of Edom and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and this anger did did tear perpetually, and is kept his wrath forever. Right, so he's he's been pursuing Jake with the sword, and now he's pursuing Jake with the little sword. Right? He wants to you know, he wants to get Jake with that little sword. But that's once again that's his MO. He's never liked Jake. That's not his. You know, we are not his um his his best friend, right? He doesn't care about us. Okay. This is Obadiah, one and ten. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, right? So all of these different things that he has done to us, guess what? He's going to be cut off for it. When you read verse 18, it says this, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh hath spoken it. Right? So the Lord hath basically said, that A E, I'm, I'm going to come get you. Right? And you've got some more, obviously, saying all the revenge precepts in you know, the scriptures, just the ones I've been, you know, uh, you know, labeled as, you know, revenge, you know, um, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's just the, the power, man, yeah, this man wants you to pee for protest, but this is his history, right, just goes to show you who's in charge, right, so as always, those words, I was edifying, till the next time, shalom.